Hi guys, it's Jess from Honest Fiction and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing my top 10 favorite holiday romances. All right guys, so although fall is my favorite time of year, I also really enjoy the holiday season. I love decorating for Christmas, that's what my family celebrates, and also just like putting up decorations, and it just feels like a magical time of year. So I have 10 of my absolute favorite holiday romances to talk about. So some of these books are kind of like rom com -y. I have other ones that are super, super spicy, and I'm just so excited to talk about these books with you guys. Now, if you're unfamiliar with my channel, I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. You can also hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I post new bookish content. You can also check out my Instagram and Goodreads bubbling down below. With all that in the way, let's talk about my favorite holiday books. So starting off with one of the more popular holiday romances, we have In Holidays by Christina Lauren. So this story is following Mei Lin, and every year she goes on vacation with her family around Christmas time to this beautiful wintry log cabin, and they actually meet up with another family. Now, Mei Lin has had a crush on one of the sons in the other family for a very long time, but they've never done anything about it. Like, they've flirted, but always kind of kept away from each other. And this year, Mei Lin ends up having an absolutely horrible vacation, which is made worse when she finds out that her family is actually selling their cabin. So when Mei Lin is driving home, she prays to the universe, please show me what will make me happy, and then she gets into a car accident. So when she wakes up from the car accident, she realizes that she is somehow in this Groundhog Day loop where she has to relive her vacation over and over until she gets it right. So I actually really enjoyed this story. Like I said, I read this a few years ago and it was one of the like spicier romances. Now looking back, this isn't that spicy, but there is a pretty like detailed sex scene towards the end. But overall, I really enjoyed this and might actually do a reread this year. And next up we have Tis the Season for Revenge. So this book was unbelievably popular last Christmas time. However, there wasn't an audiobook available, so I didn't get a chance to read it. Well, I just binged it a couple days ago, and this book is perfection. It's my favorite holiday romance ever. It is both emotional and then super spicy. And also, it has those humorous moments. It is just, it is so good. So we are following this girl who's been dating the same guy for four years, and he treats her horribly. However, she really isn't realizing this until he breaks up with her out of the blue. So her and her friends decide that they are going to get revenge on her ex-boyfriend by her dating his boss. And then the story goes from there. But really, the story is showing how you can be in one of these relationships and not even realize how horrible the person is treating you until you date someone else and actually realize your worth. And it was just, I loved this so much. So it is worth all of the hype, and if you have not read this yet, you need to pick it up. And next up we have Wreck the Halls by Tessa Bailey. So here's the thing with Tessa Bailey. I typically don't love her books. I normally rate them fairly low. However, her holiday romances, they hit different. For some reason, I love every holiday romance this woman puts out. So I have no idea why that is. But anyway, I finished Wreck by Halls yesterday, and I loved it. So we are following these two people, Melody and Beat, and they are both children of these two women that used to be in a band together. Now this band broke up and their mothers absolutely despise each other. However, they have both been offered a live show deal and a million dollars if they will agree to have a film crew follow them around as they try to get their mothers to agree to a reunion tour. Now, this actually has a little bit of like a soulmate feel because Melody and Beat have never really opened up to anyone around them because their parents are so famous. They really can't trust anyone, but they just instantly connect to each other and it's just such a cute story. It also had a new kink that I had never heard of and now I know all about it, so that's always fun. But anyway, if you're looking for a very spicy and very cute winter romance, definitely check out Wreck the Halls. And piggybacking off that, we have Window Shopping, also by Tessa Bailey. So this book is so much fun. We're following this girl who's really down on her luck. I think she's actually been in prison and was recently released and is just trying to find a job. So she's out in the middle of New York just staring at this window display when the owner of the department store she is at offers her a job designing the window display. And it's their romance. 
And the owner of this department store is like the cutest guy ever. And he's like really tall, wears bow ties. And he's just like a gentleman until you get him in the bedroom. And then he's like super dominant, which was such an, it, it was kind of jarring when I was reading this. However, I ended up absolutely loving it. So this is another very fun holiday read that also has a very emotional story uh, kind of hidden in there. And next up is actually my favorite holiday romance from last year. It is The Plate Before Christmas by Kate Stewart. This book is so good. So we are following this girl who has recently gone through a terrible breakup and is about to spend the next week with her family on vacation. And things get so much more worse when her brother walks in with her ex-boyfriend. Now, her brother has no idea that they used to date, so she is determined to make sure no one knows that they have a history, and it's so good. I was laughing out loud multiple times while reading this book, and I'm not normally the biggest fan of rom-coms, but the humor in this was just perfection. And on top of that, if you have read the Ravenhood series by Kate Stewart, there is somebody that makes an appearance in this book, and I will tell you I screamed when the narrator started talking and I realized who that character was, I completely lost it. But yeah, this is one of my favorite Christmas reads and is just absolutely amazing. And next up is The Holiday Swap. And this feels exactly like a Hallmark movie. We're following these two twins. One is a chef that's competing in this baking show. And the other one is a baker who's working in her family's bakery. So anyway, something ends up happening to the twin that is working as a chef on the show, and she loses her ability to taste and smell, which is not good. So she actually ends up switching places with her other sister. And while these two have switched places, they both start to have romantic involvements with the guys in each other's lives. And it was just a really fun and cute read. Like I said, it felt just like watching a really cute holiday Hallmark movie. So I would definitely give this book a try. And next up is actually a bind up of three different stories. So we have The Holiday Brothers by Will and Nash. So I actually have a reading blog of me reading all three that I'll leave in the cards and the description. But the first one was definitely my favorite. So the first one is The Naughty, The Nice, and The Nanny. And that is a single dad nanny age gap romance, which I love all of those things. And then the second one is brother's best friend relationship. And the third one was accidental pregnancy. So the third one was not my fave, but honestly, they were all so fun. And I love Will and Ash's writing. So definitely one to read if you're looking for a fun holiday romance. And next up is There's Something About Mary by Cody Hall. So this is actually part of a whole like holiday series. The first book is Nick and Noelle's Christmas Playlist. I'm not sure what the other books are called, but this was my favorite in the series by far. It is Single Dad, also a little bit of an age gap. We're following Mary and she works on her family's Christmas tree farm and she really wants to become the manager. However, her family isn't taking her very seriously. And there is a new guy that just moved into town who is a single dad and it seems like Mary's father is thinking about promoting him to be the manager. So Mary automatically starts hating this guy, but eventually a romance soon blossoms. And all of this is taking place at this Christmas tree farm. And it is just the perfect holiday romance. I can't remember how spicy this one was. I know there is spice. I just don't remember exactly how much, but I just, I love a good single dad romance. And there were so many really cute moments. So highly, highly recommend. And if you're looking for just straight spice, we have Gifting Me to His Best Friend by Katie Robert. So I read this last year. I'm still not sure how I feel about it. It's probably my least favorite in that Katie Robert taboo series, but we're following this married couple who have a very exciting sex life. And one day while they're on vacation with the guy's best friend, he decides that he is going to gift his wife to his best friend and they're all gonna have like happy, fun, spicy time while on vacation. So there is like a little bit of a plot, but it's mostly just spice, which is totally fine if that's what you're looking for. So if you want a really spicy read, check out Gifting Me to His Best Friend. And the last two books on this list, I haven't had a chance to read yet. However, I am halfway into one of them and the other one was very popular last year and I do plan on reading it as soon as I've finished my current read. So first up, we have Love Light Farms by BK Borison. Everyone I know absolutely loves this series. So this is a friends to lovers. We're following this girl who is trying to prevent this Christmas tree farm from closing. So she enters this competition on Instagram 
where she promotes this place as being very romantic and says she has a longtime boyfriend. Well, when the people that are running the Instagram um, contest contact her, she realizes, oh no, I don't have a boyfriend. So she asks her best friend, Lucas, to be like her fake boyfriend and the story goes from there. So this sounds really sweet and really cute for the holidays. So I'm very much looking forward to finishing it. And last up is a super spicy, Wide Shoes Holiday Novella, we have Tangled in Tinsel. So this book was really popular last like holiday time. However, there wasn't an audiobook available, so I didn't actually read it. But now I think December 4th or December 8th, there is an audiobook coming out. So I will be reading this in December, but this is following a girl who ends up getting snowed in with four of the guys that she works with, and she ends up tangled in tinsel. It just sounds fun. I love Why Choose Romances. They are like my fave. So I think this will be a very fun and spicy read. All right, guys, those are some of my favorite holiday reads. Please let me know down in the comments below what is your absolute favorite holiday romance. I love getting recommendations from you guys. And I said this already, I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. I will see you all next week. Bye. <laughs>